we're going to do a little beer tasting. Um, when we taste beer, what we like to do is start out with the lighter beer first and then move towards the stronger flavors. Um, maybe you can have this one here. Okay. So, so the first beer that we're going to try is our Sky Blue Golden Ale. This is our lightest beer. It's a German style Kolsch beer and Kolsch just means it's uh, from the town of Cologne in Germany and that's where the style originated. Uh, the Germans are known for making Pilsner style beers and lots of lager beers but in the days before they really perfected the lager brewing technique um, all of their beers were ales so this is a nice little light summer ale, the sky blue golden ale. What's great about beer is it goes really good with food, so that's kind of one of the great things about doing this, having beer with food. It's just a great complement to it. So our next beer is the Copper Line Amber Ale. Um, this beer is actually more based on an English style of beer. Um, it uses English Kent Golding hops, which are really probably the most traditional ale hop there is. So we'll try that. So here we have a little bit of caramel malt in there, adds a little bit of sweetness. And um, the beers that are these amber colored ones go really well with sweet foods like barbecue and chicken and poultry and ribs, stuff like that. Okay, our next beer, this is the India Pale Ale. This is a style of beer that started in England when um, they had English troops over in India. It was very hot in the summertime in India and it was too hot to brew, but they really missed their beer, so they used to have to ship the beer from England all the way to India. And this was a long way, and the beer would get hot, and I'll drink some more of that. Okay. Um, the next beer we have is a beer that we just put on tap yesterday to celebrate our third anniversary. It's our anniversary. Lager and it comes with a little bit of lime. And we're gonna try that. And what does adding the lime do for the flavor of the beer? It, you know, lime has a little bit of an acid to it, and it just has a nice flavor as well. So you'll see we have another beer down here with a lemon, and uh, some beers are really good with orange as well. Um, the reason we're putting a lime in this one is because it's actually a Vienna style lager, which is from you know uh, Austria. Um, but when the Austrians went to America, to the Americas, they started brewing in Mexico. So the style of beer in Mexico is, is an Austrian style or a Vienna style. So this, this beer is like a Mexican style beer. So I'm going to try that. So this goes really good. Yeah, it's go really good with all kinds of food and, and it's really nice. Yeah. I guess in my head, I, yeah. you know, because I don't drink beer that often, I guess I feel like the darker the beer, the stronger mm -hmm. the flavor, but I feel like this one was a lot stronger, than, or a lot more bitter than this one, even though that one's darker in color. Well, that's absolutely true. So the malt that, that adds the color um, really adds sweetness to the beer as well. So as far as the alcoholic strength, it really doesn't have much to do with the color at all. Though there are a lot of strong dark beers compared to like a light lager. Um, in fact, the next beer we're going to go to is um, the Firecracker. And this is a beer that I made as a summer specialty beer um, two or three years ago, and then it got very popular, so now we make it every year. And what, we, what we've got here is a beer that is in between a light beer and this really bitter IPA, so you get a little bit of both, so I'll try that. So that's kind of like a crisp, refreshing kind of beer. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then the next beer it looks oh, like we have different beers. We have two different ones. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a nice light one with a, a lemon. You can try. Okay, that thanks. One. I'll give you this dark one. Well, I'm gonna make you try that okay. one too, though, so you can keep that. All right. <laughs> I'll let you try that one first, and I'll drink some. Okay. And which one is this? This is the um, Circle City Wheat, and this is a German style of beer um, that. Is Bavarian style. It's from southern Germany. 
So it's got some nice fruitiness to it, some clove flavor. Um, you taste the clove. Else. Yeah, it's clovey. So this is a, a nice light summer beer. It's really good. I like that one. Let's see what else. Oh, no, now this is the port of the one that you. Th this is where I want you to think more about the coffee. It is like right. a nice coffee, and see if you can see if you can think of it more like that. And because it's not really high in alcohol. I mean, it's no higher than some of these. Yeah. Others. I can taste the coffee. The yeah. coffee flavor. Yeah. Because just like they do with coffee beans, they roast that mm -hmm. malt, so and it's, it's a just, little thicker. Mm -hmm. And it has the oats in it, like we were saying. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a nice um, beer, you know, especially in the winter time. These kind of beers are when you're drinking less volume, but you want more flavor. Mm -hmm. these are, this is a good way to go. Okay, so about two years ago we had this terrible hop crisis, <laughs> and what happened was uh, it was a culmination of a lot of bad things happened. Um, there was bad weather in Europe, and there was bad weather in Australia, and the, by, when I say bad weather, I'm, in Europe it was floods, and in Australia it was drought, and in this country a lot of the land that had been growing hops was being turned over to growing um, ethanol and fuel products. And then there was also a, a fire in the hop warehouse in Yakima. So all of these conspired to make hop prices go from you know around three, four to five dollars a pound, all the way to thirty dollars a pound. And um, so what's happened now is that um, the crisis has been averted. We can get hops and we can get them at a reasonable price, but they're never going to be back to the price that they were. And so part of the good that's come out of this crisis is that um, people are starting to look into other alternatives like growing hops locally here in North Carolina and I think that's a great thing and I think uh, when they get it done and get these hops to us it'll be great. The more stuff that we can make that's local I think is better for everybody in the state. So that's my story about the hop crisis. <laughs>